Let's talk now to Dr. Ariel Cohen, who is a senior fellow at an American think tank called the Atlantic Council. It concentrates on foreign policy and transatlantic cooperation. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, a serious mistake, says former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair. Do you agree? Yes, uh, Tony Blair has uh, more foreign policy experience, including hard knocks, uh, than Joe Biden. And uh, his uh, judgment uh, is basically sound. And then the question is, one, what is moral? What is what has been done to the allies of the United States that we are abandoning in Afghanistan? Can we extract over 10,000 Americans that are stuck there? The military, the security forces, the contractors, the family members, all, all these people, but also our allies and our Afghan collaborators. But beyond that, what did this do to the perception of the United States as a reliable ally from Taiwan uh, to Estonia, from Poland to Japan. And that is what we need to focus on after we try to minimize uh, the disaster, the PR disaster, the humanitarian disaster that this hasty decision presents to us now. It's still ongoing and it can go south. What, what do you mean it can go south? I mean that right now we are in this uh, very unstable, intense uh, standoff between the Americans, the British, and the others around the airport and the Taliban in control of the country. And as we saw from Taliban's statement, they're talking to the Chinese, the Russians, and the Turks. If elements inside the Taliban or their foreign sponsors and friends uh, are interested in escalating, in making America bleed as we leave, uh, if one irresponsible soldier uh, or Taliban fighter starts shooting and gets fired back, this whole thing can deteriorate very quickly. What happened so far, as tragic as it is, people trampled, people killed, we did not have a big bloodbath. I hope and pray every day that it's not going to happen, but I do not rule it out. We are there at the tender mercy of one of the most brutal Islamist terrorist organizations in the world and the allies that adopted them, Pakistanis, Chinese, Russians, and um, the Turks. If any Taliban soldier militant does fire their gun in anger, the Taliban know that that will lead to continued suspension of funds from the IMF, uh, continued suspension of the freezing of billions of dollars worth of Afghan reserves held at the US Federal Reserve, and the cutting off of foreign aid. Absolutely, at some level, uh, they do know it, uh, but this is not the Royal Civil Service exactly. They have thousands upon thousands of fighters that are not organic Taliban. They have Al Qaeda, they have ISIS, they have the Islamic movement of Turkestan, which is aiming its guns north to Central Asia. Uh, and they don't control their people as effectively as a regular army. It's not, it's not a regular army. So inadvertently or deliberately, things can deteriorate very quickly. And they, there is a danger, I'm not saying it's going to happen, there is a danger of things getting out of control and of a bloodbath that civilians, people who are trying to escape, uh, or our own people may be hurt very badly there. I wonder if perhaps the US president doesn't, isn't concerned about perceptions of the US and its foreign policy around the world when he knows that pulling out his troops from Afghanistan, even in this manner, is popular with the American public and indeed is what he promised uh, when he got voted in. Look, um, everybody since Obama, and Trump and Biden, were talking about getting out of Afghanistan. The US spent 
a trillion dollars of our treasure and uh, we sacrificed 2,500 lives and many more wounded. So as a war strategy, as a policy, it wasn't working very well. The US initially got involved in something that is called nation building, democracy promotion, didn't work out. But the manner in which we are withdrawing, but the, the fact that we did not get many more people out before the collapse of Kabul, President Biden said, we got out 2,500 people in seven and a half months. That is ridiculous. We have an airlift capability, which is much, much bigger. Uh, what we were waiting for. I personally am trying to help people to get out. I know how bureaucratic some of the structures that are involved in helping people out are, what kind of documentation they uh, require, et cetera. This is a, a uber emergency. We need to get out as many people as we possibly can and then sort out the security clearances and whatnot. Uh, this whole part, uh, President Biden uh, had to think through. It was his job and is, of course, his job as a commander in chief, as a chief of US foreign policy, to think through the long-term relationships and, and alliances that will affect the peace in the world, the global balance of power, okay. non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, and all that is going down the drain right now as we speak. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you, Dr. Ariel Cohen from the uh, American Think Tank Atlantic Council. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get more content like this.